Namaste, Losties. Coming up, we discuss alternate realities, Saeed and his chequered existence, and is Ben really Ben? This is your midweek edition of the official fan show for Lost on Sky One. You meet a good friend of mine. It's Paul Terry, the editor of the official Lost magazine. You're right, fella. Hello. You're yeah, right. good. Right. I'm good. <laughs> Over here. Let's make you laugh. Geeky Tom. All right. Yeah. <laughs> He's cute. Now, uh, in the episode "He's Our You," which is a brilliant title when it's revealed what yeah, that yeah, yeah. means, a young Ben Linus gives Saeed a book to read called "A Separate Reality." I spotted that with my own eyes. These things here. Is that what's happening now? That there's now. Like some kind of sliders thing, there's different things going on at the same time. It's it's nice. It, it what it's going to get more complicated and more murky, but it's um always that red herring. The whole book well, thing, yeah, they know. they do these things with books. They give you because I remember they, the, the third policeman was in it at some point. Mm. I read it, fantastic book. Oh, I didn't see what the connection. <laughs> the, the 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 prospect of alternate realities upsets you, doesn't it, Tom? It upsets me. Upsets me immensely. I hate the idea of that. <laughs> <laughs> that, really and that <laughs> excites me. <laughs> really? With the fact that you hate it. Oh, good. Why do you hate it so much? I just I think it's a really, really hard thing to explain to you know, to wrap up in a final episode and just generally yeah. give credibility to. It's so much better to have the whatever is happened happened idea, which they do allude to. The fact that if Ben gets shot, he can't get shot because, you know, we've seen him in the future but, and the past is, you know, the future's set in stone. Interestingly, isn't next week's episode called Whatever Happened Happened? So Good. Know, Good, I'm right. I better so, be right. Okay, well, let's <laughs> let's, you let's just let's let's assume for a second that Ben is dead, he's been shot. Yeah. But Ben in the future is alive. He can't be. <laughs> but we've seen him alive. Yeah, but now he's dead. So exactly, so maybe he just disappeared. We got some of the fans' views on a different future. This is from Samoth Saboli, who's obviously an idiot, because right. Samoth starts the email with Dear Ian. You need to start giving Geeky Tom some credit. You're starting to treat the poor guy like Charlie. <laughs> Did you write this yourself? Is this, is this an anagram of Geeky Tom? No, it's not. The idea is that the 2007 group is in a different future from the original. And in this one, the war that Widmore and others referred to has already come, which is the reason for the strange condition of the island. And the people from the past and those from the future must work to fix what has or will have happened. Um, I kind of... Wait, I don't me, get it. Let, me, let, me, let it. me work with it. Let me work with Please it. Please do. Well, it kind of explains that if it does have separate realities, that that, that is the two. Maybe they're in the, the, the kind of the reality where Ben is dead. Who are? The other part of the plane. What other part of the what plane? The, what the, like the knock and people like but that. But then they're, in the, they're with Ben. They're with him now. So Ben can't, isn't dead in that one. I know, that's what we But you just said they were. No, but that would be quite interesting to see what happens to Ben now. What if Ben's now a vision? Of now he's dead. Or and he, like, well, he disappeared from the bed, literally. Lock maybe he'll like, be like, and then it just, it'll, maybe that's, it'll just disappear. Um, the people on the aeroplane would not know 45 year old Ben. Yeah, but they've come from the reality that, that has been. That with, reality has been wiped. No, but it hasn't, because the other half of the plane is in the reality that hasn't. Okay, so you're saying that the two different groups of people that are 77 yeah. and 2007 are literally. Before even he was shot by a side, are existing in different realities. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, one Come where on. Ben is alive, and one is where Ben's dead. We ben, are in one ben. for the first time. I don't know. It's, it's, it, could be a load of, it could be a load of rubbish. I'm just, <laughs> yes. I'm just working with it. Uh, forum post from Flying High. What if there is a new timeline where the purge never happened because Ben was killed by Saeed? Then it could explain the weird abandoned Dharmaville that we saw in last week's episode. Well, that's explained by what happened at the end of season four, isn't it? With the smoke monster and all of with more soldiers running about. I think people people's are saying that there's a lot of like Dharma logos and signposts around, at which they say that the others probably would have taken down if they were living there. Okay, interesting. Mm. Oh, look, this is exciting. We've got a webcam mess message uh, from Jordan. Namaste, Jordan. Namaste. I have a theory to Daniel Faraday's whatever happened, happened theory. Now, in the last episode, Namaste, when they entered the barracks, Lapidus and Son, Christian showed them pictures. Also, when they entered the barracks, there was a little sign hanging down that said registration. <clears throat> now, why were the barracks in 2007 still dharmatized? 
Everything looked like it was Dharma Initiative style, but yet the others would have taken all that stuff away. So I think that the Losties in the past somehow changed the future. Therefore, Faraday's whatever happened to happen theory isn't exactly 100% true. Yes, uh, he's explained it better than any of the emails and uh, any of the <laughs> emails have yeah. done. And it, yeah, um, yes, I, I did notice the registration point, um, Simon, didn't make the connection. Of course, it wouldn't have been there in the others. So yes, they have created an alternate future. I don't maybe. like possibly, it. It's possibly. becoming more and more plausible now, and I don't like it. Either. Uh, if you want to uh, send us uh, your theories, either in video form or in email form, whatever, then uh, send us an email to Lost on Sky One at sky.com, Lost on Sky One at sky.com, and also we're on the Facebook, the Bebo, the MySpace, and the Twitter. And uh, on Friday afternoons, when we get together and we watch the episode, we sometimes like to Twitter away. So if you're, you're following us, you get to the inside on what biscuits we're eating. But we don't spoil anything. About the don't episodes. spoil anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got to say, if some yeah. people following me on Twitter spoiled the episode this week by telling me what happened. Mm. They were booted off. Bad form. Immediately. Uh, we got an email from Chris Rooks. Uh, I don't know if I prefer Paul's ability to keep it real or Tom's ability to keep it insane. <laughs> I could go either way. What, what, do, they, what do they mean? What does that even mean? I, I could don't go know. either way. I like, I like the way these emails are getting quite personal now. Let's keep, <laughs> let's keep, let's keep, let's keep going. More to the point, there is a lost fan war waging with regard to whatever happened. Happened. Is it real or not? Aside from the why is the runway there, the barracks were destroyed mumbo jumbo, my thought is that if you believe the past can be changed, then what good are any of the clues we've been given so far? If you think that past events can be altered, then it more or less makes all of the island history re reveals that we've seen completely meaningless, does it not? I sort of get what he's saying. He's basically saying, if things can be changed, then, this, then what's the point of watching the first four seasons? I think. I, um, yeah, I guess what saying, but I don't quite understand why, that, why they are redundant. Well, Chris is, Chris is upset. <laughs> Chris, Chris is angry that, that his time's being wasted. <laughs> the, the, the rules is, he, I think what he's saying is that the rules have been changed slightly. I, yeah, I think that you can't promise something and then go totally against that yeah. and then just ruin it for everybody. Okay, we've got an email from Rachel Adams who says, I've just rewatched The Man Behind the Curtain. And in the scene where young Ben Linus is in the classroom, there is a com uh, there's, and there is a commotion outside with the hostiles entering the barracks and the teacher is telling everyone to get down. I've got a theory. Oh, this is nice. The hostile is in actual fact Saeed and he has escaped his cell. A man looking like Sawyer, same build and blonde hair, runs past the window, which makes sense as Sawyer, stroke Le Fleur, is the head of security. Ooh, yeah. I want, I've got oh, this episode coming up soon in my re-watching of the entire... Oh, okay. I've got this episode coming up soon, I think, so I will, I will check that Do out. frame-by-frame frame action. Yes. yes. But Side but Cy doesn't escape, does he? Apart from that one time at night time when, he's, um, when Ben lets him yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, if it, if it ties up and it, he's actually been done in that way, that's pretty super. But that means that whatever happened, happened. No, there isn't a tan it's the, it's the phrase tangential that, universe. We're, we're, today we are sponsored by the phrase, whatever happened. Oh happened. man, okay, <laughs> let's have a quick talk about Saeed. Uh, we we learnt uh, more about him in He's Our You. Um, history of neck breaking from an early age with the chicken. <laughs> that gets started with the chicken. <laughs> Start small, work your way, work your way. Yeah. But shades of Mr Echo there, the same thing that Echo does where he steps in for his brother and kills. I like that. We don't know why he's so addicted to killing, but I guess we can learn from an early age that killing is... He's not that fussed by it. It's in your blood. Yeah. Killing. But, but does that mean <laughs> does it mean Sai's si gonna have some kind of like you know, he's gonna get really? taken out by the island or something? Because Echo, obviously, you know, he was he killed that uh, that bloke in the village yeah. to protect his brother. Yeah. And he seemed to have been punished for that, so yeah. he's Sai gonna be punished for it. Well he's he, yes. Does he deserve to be I punished think, for I it though? I don't quite understand why Sai's being ostracised by all of the other Losties. Why don't they just go, whoa, hey, hang on a minute. All right, let's calm down. Let's work out a way, you know. He's our mate. Come on, let's sort this out. I know that Sawyer and Sai have got a history together with the uh, season one, the things <laughs> under the fingernails. Oh, right. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that. No, the things under the fingernails in the woods, yeah, you guys, yeah, didn't yeah. they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sai must have killed quite a lot of people in Widmore's organisation. Oh, I mean, prior to that, all the torturing and stuff he was doing when he was actually... But how many of Widmore's people torture? has he killed? We, we know he's killed... What, well, we don't even know if they are actually Widmore's people. Yeah, that was just Ben's word for it. Yeah, we, we, we don't just, know who they are. I know, exactly. It could just be random. So Ben just told him to go and kill, to, like, a test or something. Well, keep It'd be him. awful if it was, like, Yellow Pages moment. Yeah. Yeah. Kill him on a golf course. Yeah, Why didn't Sai just kill Ben in the future? I didn't think of it, did he? 
But he, should, but he does he does think of it because he says to him what he's going to do when he's leaving on the dock. He says, I'd, I'd better oh, yes. not see you again because if I do, it will not be happy for both of us. And then he walks off. Most unpleasant. Most unpleasant. And then he's seen, seen him again. And then and, he kills him. And then he kills him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if Ben survives being shot, right? Right, okay. And the Saeed, stick with me on this one. And Saeed shooting Ben is the catalyst right. for turning nice Ben into evil Ben. Okay. Then it's all Saeed's fault. I like that. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. Yeah. And then, yeah, but how bad is Saeed going to feel? Well, Saeed's going to be that gutted then. Really? You're like, what? Because you can't win either way, you know. He tries to shoot him in the heart to stop him, all the bad things happening. It all goes on his head. You uh, that'd be Tom? pretty harsh. Yeah, just about. Okie dokie. We'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up soon, Tom. Tom's getting tired, so we'll, we'll rattle through the rest <laughs> of this. <laughs> the battle for Sky One's biggest lost fan continues. So far, we've seen Donna, Kane, Daryl, and Lawrence. Say hello to another contender. This is Dylan. Today, I'm bringing you a time with Sky One's biggest lost fan. <laughs> Not only do I eat, sleep, and drink lost, I am absolutely. Do you sleep? Because it doesn't look like you do, my friend. People are now referring to me as he is that goon that's obsessed with lost. Um, yeah, like I say, I eat, sleep, and drink it. I'm forever analysing everything about the show. I think about it all day, all night. Um, I have my old forum with 300 members, over 100 active members, and a small little group of 30 hard rock solid members that are totally obsessed like me. <clears throat> if I'm actually starting to believe that real life things are linked to lost, it's driving me mad. I can't even watch another programme without thinking ahead, thinking there's a twist, thinking, oh, this is going to happen because of that. I'm analysing every single thing in my life and on TV. It's a bit sad, I know. That's just the way lost is. Um, I've even changed my name to John Locke, Jack Shepherd. No, you haven't. No, I am really. My wife won't let me. <laughs> Not falling for that. I was nearly yeah. going to do it. On uh, my biggest theory, which is that Widmore is actually Jacob, like I've said this before, is um, <clears throat> when he got conned out of leaving the island, he actually got somehow his dead spirit from the future got sucked back and trapped, and that is one of the reasons why he can't go back anyway. And um, blah, 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 Richard is a bad guy. Five hundred pound bet on that. Shh. Namaste. Are you, are you? Yeah, Tom. You said he's probably. I hope I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I like him in that kind of scary way that I never want to meet him. Uh, well, listen, next week we're going to start compiling our Geeky Fan Leaderboard and uh, judge who deserves to take part in our Geek Off quiz at the end of Series 5. Please. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't be Dylan. Can't speak, can't speak. I can't be Dylan. There's still time to get involved if you want. Send your webcam theory proving to us how amazingly lost obsessed you are and send it to us uh, uh, at lost on sky one at sky.com lost on sky one uh, at sky.com but hey gang it's the moment we've all been waiting for what's that dun, dun, dun. The chocolate. it's the facebook update <laughs> oh is this a regular thing now is it oh, oh the geeky tom uh, it's, it's very close between uh, paul terry's facebook page and Geeky Tom's fault. I've only got 38 saying I love Ian Lee, so that's not good. <laughs> but uh, Paul Terry, who do you want first? Paul Terry or Geeky Tom update? Um, Geeky Tom, 342 members. He's a man. Paul what Terry, 62. Oh. Oh. Well, I, can't, I can't match Geeky Tom. No, of course, no. Of course you can't. Kingship of lost. I'm actually going to cancel. I'm, I'm following your group. I'm going to cancel my subscription. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, really... it's, it's got that serious, is it? Yeah, I don't want to be part of that. Oh, okay. Anyway, you can join us uh, <laughs> on Sunday when we'll be discussing episode 11, Whatever Happened, Happened. In the meantime, you can watch all of our Lost Initiative shows so far at sky.com forward slash lost. Please keep your theories and your emails coming. Until later, namaste. Paul's ability to keep it real or Tom's ability to keep it insane.